Hello, welcome everybody. And as you can see today, we are going to open up a package that I received via Amazon and it contains something with batteries. So let's take a look what's inside. We open it up very carefully because you never know what and how they have packed the inside so that we are not damaging anything. So it is a package from Arduino. And of course, because this is an unboxing, we already know that this is the unboxing of the new Alvic. The Alvic is the latest edition of Arduino. And as you can see, it contains a label with, um, with batteries. So it means that the batteries are included. Um, and as I said, the Alvic is the latest edition from Arduino in their robotics range of products. So let me open this up very carefully. And there it is, once again in a box, the Alvic from Arduino. A smiling face. So let's take a look at what is on the on the label on the side of the box. Um, first of all, there is uh, very clearly indicated the URL of uh, where you can find more information and uh, and education stuff. Um, what else is there? It's uh, made, designed and made in Italy or assembled in Italy. And let us uh, open up the box uh, because it is uh, again nicely wrapped into a sleeve. There's also some stuff on the back. Uh, let's see if there is anything interesting. It uh, um, yeah, it just uh, gives us some text that. You can go further with every move that you can find Arduino on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, all the social media addresses and platforms. And again, that you can get information uh, and additional support on the education side of Arduino. So let me continue with trying to squeeze it out of the sleeve. It's not uh, that straightforward and I don't want to tear it apart. But with some wiggling, we will get there. So just a bit of patience. And yes, there it goes. Nice orange welcome. So it says go to the website before you do anything else. Of course, we will do that later and see what uh, information there is. Once again, the smiling face saying hello to us. More cardboard, more cardboard. And finally, the reveal of the Alvic. And as you can see, it is a relatively small device. So, yeah, so more cardboard. It's a relatively small device, uh, but it, um, it's also a very handy format. And uh, but uh, yeah, maybe before we get into the details, let's look at what else is in the box, because there's more cardboard to remove in order to find this USB cable that uh, comes within the package. And it's a, a double USB-C cable. And then there are some very small leaflets. Um, yeah, there's some stickers that you can use. There is a very small leaflet that is actually giving the URL referring to the data sheet uh, and or the data PDF uh, file. And then, um, yeah, a nice thank you and probably some stuff about warranty and other elements. And of course, welcoming us to the, the forums and the community. Okay, I'm also going to clean my workspace a little bit because there's some dirt from that box. Okay, so let's uh, let's pick up the Alvic again and 
take another closer look at it. So as I said, it's um, it's it's compact, but uh, it's quite sturdy. So if you tick on it, it doesn't look or it doesn't sound very hollow. Um, so it has, uh, as you can see, the, the three wheels, the typical design. So two wheels and one roller ball. And uh, it comes with a couple of uh, of buttons on the top. And as we probably can imagine, so there is a compartment for the uh, rechargeable battery. So let's take a quick look and open it up uh, quickly just to see how easy it is to change it and to remove it because that's a, a very nice feature. So yeah, it has the, yeah, the typical standard lithium ion battery included. Um, this is a, a quite a nice feature. Certainly when you are a teacher and you want to use this robot for a couple of hours, um, inevitably uh, it will have a depleted battery so you can quickly swap it with a fully charged battery. So what else is, uh, is there apart from this uh, easy feature? Um, there are a couple of uh, buttons. Um, there is the <coughs> the um, the Nano, uh, the, uh, the the Arduino Nano ESP32, a very powerful microcontroller. It's uh, it seems to be quite firmly connected to the board, so. But I think it, it is swappable. Uh, there are a couple of buttons. Um, of course, they don't do anything um, while we are not switching them on. And yes, there is also the interface panel, the interface panel that uh, has some I squared C interfaces, um, both the QW IIC and also the I2C Grove. Uh, it also has two servo motor um, parts and it has the on and off switch. Uh, there are also two LEDs, uh, RGB LEDs, that uh, probably are um, programmable and uh, can just, you know, liven up, spice up your projects. What else is there to see that is worthwhile? Yeah, there is this little warning. I'm not quite sure what it means, whether we should not drop it. Maybe, maybe we will find out in the documentation. <clears throat> okay, what you see here is the, the array for the um, line tracking. And on the side, or well, below here you will see the trackball, uh, so the third, uh, the third wheel. And those are two high precision or wheels that are driven by some high precision direct current engines or motors. Uh, what is very important is that it has on the sides the Lego holes where you can put uh, lego parts that is very 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 handy for your robotic uh, uh, projects and also a number of screw holes that you can use to add additional parts predominantly <laughs> parts that you can uh, 3d print well let us um, have a closer look at the inside of the robot. So let's uh, take our little screwdriver and open it up at the top. We are not going to dismantle it already. Uh, it's uh, it's too new for that. So it's just uh, just curious to see how easy it is to open it up and to see what's inside the belly of the alvic so it's very easy so just four screws to be removed so that's the last one 
and then we'll just have to be careful because you never know whether there are any plastic parts that are stuck or are tightened and I don't want to break anything so bear with me um, but as you can see it opens up quite easily there is there are some pins that are connected that we just have to wiggle carefully and so we just have to be careful now you can also clearly see the array of uh, the line following array and see Yep, there it is. It uh, it's open, and this is how it looks inside. Uh, by the way, you can see that there is another microcontroller or chipset actually inside. So that's a little square next to the battery, um, and as you can see, that even the the face is uh, apparently something that uh, can be swapped because now it is with. A, a time of flight sensor but um, you might be able to add or to change that face with uh, with other sensors that is something to be explored at a later stage so let us quickly uh, put everything back together but as you can see even I'm not going to say for servicing because probably there's not a lot of servicing on this type of uh, really tightly integrated robots but it's uh, quite easy to open up and to uh, to see what's inside right so last the last screw and with this i uh, would like to go to the website of uh, arduino alovic and take a look at what they give us in terms of support or educational modules. So bear with me for a moment while I'm switching over to the Arduino website. The first thing that I want to show you is the data sheet because that's the place where you will really find a lot of the information. The URL is the URL that is printed on this small piece of paper that we found at the bottom of the box. And as you will see, it is quite an extensive data sheet with uh, over 20 pages with, um, you know, all of the, the functional overview, the device operation, uh, some of the compliance stuff that, uh, you know, the typical things that you will find on a data sheet. So, have a look at it. Uh, there is some interesting exploded view here, the funk and the topology, so that you don't have to open up the Alvic like we just did. Uh, but that's just because we are so curious to find out. But this gives you a nice overview of the different parts of the Alvic. The other thing that I want to show you is the education part uh, because it's of course uh, very important that there is a lot of support and uh, we all know that Arduino is really, really good in providing a lot of the support that uh, um, uh, not only through the forums and user groups but also from an educational and pedagogical point of view. So um, if you go to the Arduino Alvic Education homepage, we will have a look at what is available. Um, there's a little video that's probably also on YouTube. Yes. Um, and I'm just going to go here uh, to show you that there are a number of courses. Uh, by the way, this is the same exploded view that we just uh, saw on the data sheet. Uh, so let me go to the course and see what uh, yeah, what we have uh, apparently you need to sign in okay i'm signing in okay and this is really impressive um certainly at the launch of a pro product a product that's not in the market 
for a long time, um, they really did an excellent job in providing you with a lot of the basic courses so that uh, you can really enjoy and your classroom, your students can enjoy quite quickly the, uh, the Alovec. So um, this is uh, just the initial setup. It's a two hours. Uh, you can probably do it a little bit uh, quicker if you cut some corners, but if you are new to it, I definitely recommend to follow this, uh, this closely. Um, and then there are a number of uh, additional courses, like for instance, the motion and turning, which is of course kind of the, <laughs> the purpose of the robot. There is some automation apparently. Um, this is where <laughs> you do uh, already some of the, the dozer. Uh, this could be quite nice actually to do some uh, some Lego integration. Uh, you can see here the, the line tracking and so on and so forth. And then there are even extended projects in another eight hours um, that uh, you can follow. And uh, they are really, really well thought of, very nicely uh, constructed. And as you can see, they are for free. For those who are really new, there is a MicroPython 101 course that you can also follow. So this is uh, really nice in terms of uh, the support and the uh, educational content that, uh, that you can get. Now, if I go to the pricing, uh, this is the official pricing of the Alvic. So in Europe, it's uh, priced at 130 euros. Have to be careful that this does not yet include the VAT nor the shipping costs. And that is one of the reasons why I actually bought it on um, on Amazon. So you could see here the total price uh, for me here in Belgium was 159 euros. Uh, the date was um, um, the end of May in 2024. So when you look at this video, the pricing might have changed. But you can um, order it in uh, either directly with Arduino or via an um, Amazon or any other uh, robotic shop that uh, that you would prefer. So this concludes our uh, our overview of the Alvic. I am really looking forward to start working on some of the projects and the educational content. Um, I hope that uh, this uh, unboxing has given you a bit of a good or a better idea of what is inside the box. What do you get for your money? Is it expensive? It might be just a little bit more expensive than the robot kits that you can buy from other brands. But I think that the, the form factor, the robustness, and definitely also the whole community and the services that are, that are surrounding the, uh, the robot actually makes it a pretty good deal. With that, uh, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we will be able to see each other in a future video.